Right, this is something a little different. There's a little chopping board that I've had for a few years ago, a little clear out in the kitchen. It was a Christmas present or something. But in the side of it, it's got a little chopper, which is uh, it's quite sharp, quite thick. Nice little handle. I didn't really want to waste this. So what I think I'm going to do, a couple of options for wood. I'm going to make a hatchet out of it. The handle on it. I'm going to have to have a short one or a long one. Drag it. Too big. Nice little chopper that is, though, isn't it? So what I'm going to do first before I decide what handle I'm going to use. Is I'm going to see this is rubber. Let me see if I can get this rubber bit off and just see what metal is left. I'm not sure whether these are fixed in or whether I can knock them through and I can use those holes in to uh, fix it to the wood. So let's try and do that first. Just be a simple case of uh, bashing them through or something. The centre punch. Right. So, got it off. Left with this metal. I'm not sure how strong this metal is, right? Looks like it could be cast. Yeah, I think I'm still going to look cool. It was held on by these rivet things to cut them off. They're like um, two part ones, you push, push them together. So I just cut the angle grinder. Alright, so I'm going to use this piece of wood. I think what I'm going to start by doing. So marking it's basically it's gonna be gonna be something like that. So I'm gonna mark this and then I'm gonna cut a groove out the center for that to sit into which is the same thickness as that. So I'm gonna measure that and then cut it on a band so then we go from there. I'm not gonna lie, that's the worst that that saw has ever cut. Oh, it's fucking horrendous. It's gonna have to be um, sanded somehow. I've got a file pen, I see. Do I? This is what I want. This file is three, three mil thick. Two mil thick. I'm gonna have to use a file, I think. Right. Solve this little issue a minute. Oh, good piece actually. Right, I'm gonna get you some sandpaper. Stick it between. Feel like if I had a bit of um, a bit of wood, so I can invent something in a second. Bit of wood like that. I want to staple that down and nail it down. Right, now that goes on there. Right, so what I've done. 
off camera I just used a chisel chiseled out the shape of those either side so that then it recesses and sinks in on both sides now what I'm going to have to do is figure out where I'm going to drill the holes I'm not going to do that until much later so I might just stick big dowels through through the big ones let's see so at the moment we got this so what I want to do roughly put the shape kind of the shape of that on the outside so I know what I'm working with and then I can start shaping shaping the handle so I'm going to do that next Right, so I just tried sketching something out with um, not very good progress, but I know that there's going to have to be a bit of a scoop there and their bellies around and a bit of a handle. I'm not sure what's going to happen with the back, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to, I'm just going to cut it out by the free hand and, uh, and then just go with the flow. Right, so this is a rough shape. I'm not going to bother with none of that now. I'm just going to concentrate on this part. And uh, I don't think I'm going to use the sander over here, the belt sander, to shape it. So I just use files. So it goes with the belt sander, I think. Right, so just give her a little bit of a uh, shaping. You know, so I found it some corners. That 10 seconds of um, me sanding was actually five minutes. So what I'm gonna do now, is I'm gonna use a file. I'm gonna use this Japanese saw rasp, Shinto. So we can get on with that. Right now, this part I want it to be comfortable in the hand, so. And the fingers to be a little bit, you know, a little thumb little thing there. So what I'm going to do, hold it like this, with a pencil. pencil. And I'm just going to mark where my hand is. I'm going to use this to uh, get the most of it off. Right, this is very um, lumpy and not very smooth, but that is basically the contour of my hand. So when I grip it, fits. A little bit of tweaking by there. For comfort, but uh, that is pretty comfortable. A bit so I'm going to sand this now some sandpaper see if I can refine it a bit right so the next day I've got these gouges in this quite weird 
it's like in the wood it's like soft bits of wood i think which is quite um woody and i've been trying to sand i thought i could sand it out but the more i sand the deeper they go so i'm not sure what to do i'm not sure if to stick some super glue in or some filler i got a little poke in them but the more i sand then they're just getting deeper there's it's weird never come across this before I don't know if to just stabilize it with some glue drop some super glue in because I'm gonna um I'm gonna burn the whole thing and darken it off before I oil it anyway so I'm not gonna sand that no more the more I sand it it ain't getting no better so it's getting deep I'll end up with no iron ball for it's not a bad little grip on that I'm happy with it. So now I'm going to cut this bit out. I'm going to get the blade recessed, put in place. I'm not sure what I'm going to do wrong here. I'm going to. I want to keep most of the wood up here to give it strength. Otherwise, it's going to lose a lot of strength. I'm going to cut this bit out a bit. So let's do that. Right, let's put this back in to see. I think I'm going to leave a bit of the meat on. I'm going to think I'm going to stick some um, piece of wood in there and glue it in. And I also think that I'm going to put big dowels through. Because what I was going to do I was just going to use these two little holes, but I'm not going to do that. I'm actually going to put big dowels through. So I'm going to mark. Roughly, it's almost big enough. Ooh, they might just do it like it's meant to be. Yep, they'll do. They fit through. It's not much wiggle space, but. That is what I'm going to do. I'm gonna need all that up there. So some of this is gonna come off. I think. And also some of this. And they're gonna be rounded off too. Right, I'll be back when uh, when I got another idea. Right, what I'm actually gonna do is make it a bit of wood glue to fill fill those holes. Right, I know that don't look pretty at the moment. But uh, let's wait for that to dry, sand it off, and I'll be happy. So, ready for the next step. Right, it's the next day now, and uh, this is all set nice. So, I'm going to sand it on it. going on that's the weirdest that's the weirdest shit I've ever seen no that's just not a uh, it's not it's not working <laughs> there's still holes man that's weird I filled them I'm going to use the big sander. I 
Right. I'm just gonna leave it as it is. It's part of a that's pretty um comfortable. I'm gonna give it another little sand with this. So just to smooth out the uh the rough edges or the sharp edges. Right, next what I've got to figure out is where to drill the holes. So need to do some measurements. Pure weaponry. Oh, I'm making a video. Say hello. Right, I'm, not, I'm still not happy with this, so I'm going to fill it with um, super glue in a bit. But what I'm going to do next is I'm going to sa sand this on the machine down to the metal, to the edge of that metal. So I'm going to use the, uh, I'm going to use this cog and stick that on there like that and sand it down. But first, I'm going to cover this blade because I don't fancy getting cut. See if this works. Hopefully, when I put this back in, my hole lines it. Oh yeah, boy! See right through. So if I put a dowel, you know, and it just goes through both ends. That ain't coming out. Nice. Right now I can start shaping this. Do, 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 do. do I do it with the blade in or the blade out? Right, my um, my battery died, so I'm not sure where I was. But what I'm going to do is take this out, line that up, and I'm going to stick a couple more. Dull holes. I'm going to use this to mark them. And drill, because I want them to be roughly there, I think. And drill them out. Let me get it marked up. Three holes. Yeah, boy. Oh yeah, three clean holes. One, two, three. All the way through. Skills, right? Skills. Right. What do I do next? I'll tell you what I'm going to do next. I'm going to put super glue in these and then fill it up a bit because I'm not happy with it just being holes. So I'm going to fill them up with super glue. Right, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but these holes. I'll just do like this. Let it dry. Any on either side. Oh, that's strong, boy. It's burning my eyes. Yeah. Right, what I'm going to do next. 
this one we've got a doll back in here. Let's just line it up. So I'm going to cut some of this off because I'm going to have a flush there coming around. These are a little bit loose. So I need some fatter dolls. They'll do for now. Let me just take it over to the bandsaw. Right, that's it for now. A bit of light. What I want to do, I want to fill these bits in with pieces of wood. Glue them in. Before I do any more. Because I want to keep that a little bit unusual with some wood and stuff in it. So, let's get that done. Hopefully that's enough. Right. I'm going to put a clamp on it. Right, let that dry now. And I'm going to come back and cut it off. Also, we've sanded this down a bit and uh, they're popping back through weird but nothing's holding in there so that is what it is i'm gonna burn it up and make it look rustic anyway so all right let's just let that dry we'll be back right it's been uh, an hour or so take that off just gonna cut this bit off now Right now we're going to uh, sand it. Right, that is like that. There's still a little bit of a gap in between the metal and the wood, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to get some, some epoxy resin to um, fix this in. And then once I've done that, I'm just going to get some wood filler, just run it up through the gaps and sand it down in there. It looks sweet. It's got to be clamped a bit anyway. You know. So, next, I think, is the epoxy resin. I'm getting that fixed in there. Or should I burn it first? Yeah, I'm going to burn it. Also, I've got a brander. And I think the brand's going to go by there. Somewhere, I think. I'm not sure. i got to figure out where the brand's going to go. I'm going to brand it next, actually. So what I'm going to do. Let's brand it. No smoke, which is uh, a bit disappointing. It's not the best brand I've ever done. I think 
I'm tempted to do it again. Boom. Actually, as I'm at it, I'm going to go over Jamie Oliver's um, brand with mine. Not bad, is it? Boom. Right. Oh my god, there's got nothing here. Where's it gone? There it is. Right. We had a few days past. My life is just um it's a roller coaster. So this video will take me ages. All my videos take me ages. Anyway, so we've glued that up. So what I'm gonna do now. We'll take these clamps off. I mean, the longer we leave the glue, the better, anyway. So, now all this is going to be sanded. I'm going to make up some little bit of wood filler. And I'm going to fill a little gap. There's a little gap. You see? I'm just going to fill that. And then, and I'm going to sand or cut those bits off that are sticking out. The band, so sorry, my light is just all messed up at the moment. There you go. So, I'm gonna cut these little knobbly bits off, or should I keep them? Should I keep them or take them off? I would take them off, make it nice and smooth, and um, make a bit of wood glue. Just fill these little bits and sand it all down. Blow torch it, give her a lick of oil, polish the blade, and we are done. Let's get that done. Let's talk in. Right, what has happened, all that heat, I think I've made the glue come undone a little bit because there was a big gap there, so I've, what I've done, you can see, I've just clamped it while it's still hot, close that gap back up, oh. and I'm going to leave it to, to cool down before I do any more, so it's probably going to be a few more hours. For me not for you so we will be back real quick like this right i've taken the clamps off and um give it a bit more of a sand then they're off camera i'm going to um i'm going to give it some dye now i'm going to give it some yellow dye kept the handle a bit darker but i'm going to give it some yellow dye and see see how it looks with a bit of color let me use this so let's crack on with that Right, we'll let that dry and then assess the situation. Right, so I assess the situation and uh, I'm not really happy with the, the yellow. I mean, it's okay as a base, 
going to stick a bit of red in the next, a bit of cherry red. And also, I think I'm going to get a paintbrush and just go around these bits that are a bit light for my liking. I got a bit of black as well, so I'm going to mix it up a bit. It's starting to get cold. So let's get this done. Right, the, uh, the battery died, but I'm happy with this. It's much better. I put a bit of dark black on some parts to bring it out a little bit. When I put the oil on it, that's going to pop. So now let's get this uh, tape off and sort the blade out. A few marks on it from the sander, so I'm going to have to sand it probably then we'll oil, oil it up and then it's done I'm going to chop some stuff up oh I don't think I don't think I was recording any of that basically I've just taken the tape off and I'm polishing up the blade there I think this is 400 grit to start Obviously, I was going to cut myself. I can't do fuck all without cutting myself. Oh, that's a deep one. <laughs> what a dickhead. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. That's a deep one. Oh, that went in deep, man. Fuck. <laughs> right, i got to stop. I just cut it deep. Fuck, I was supposed to have this finished today. The last, can you believe i just done that? The last fucking hurdle. Oh, it's proper pissing with blood. Fuck, right, i got to clean this up. <laughs> I'll be back. It's fucking sharp, I'll tell you that much. That is sharp, boy. Fuck. i got to... i got to... I've just cut myself. It's red anyway. I gotta fucking finish this shit. Look, it is pissing. Oh, what a dickhead. Oh, what a proper dickhead. I feel so fucking dumb, man. Oh, my God. It's starting to hurt now. Right, let's just tape it up. As long as, uh, as long as I don't piss through this, which I think it might. I'm gonna get this done now. Oh, I'm pissed off for myself, no way. I am pissed off. Fuck. Oh, that's a serious edge on there. That's a serious edge. But that was, um, <laughs> that was 400. Now we're gonna go 800. Try not to chop a fucking finger off. Oh, right. Right, it is proper soaked with blood. It's not even, uh, that's not even stopping it. I'm not sure if I need a stitch. I don't know if they can give you a stitch at the end of your finger, but that is some deep ass shit. Fucking dumb, man. So fucking dumb. Oh, look, it's dripping. It's literally dripping. I ain't stopping. Right. Can I, can I glue it? I need a first aid kit. Can I use... 
Right, I'll be back. I've got to get something for this. Right, I've um, plastered it up to the best of my ability. There's a bit of something on there. Probably a bit on my finger. Right, I'm going to do a 2000 grit now. And then I'm going to give it a bit of a polish. And I'm going to oil it, and we are done. I was only thinking that today I haven't cut myself. Do, 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 do. Oh, let's give it a little bit of lube. Right, and I put a bit of brasso on it. Right, that's it. That's all I'm doing. It's as shiny as it can be. Right, let's put some oil on this bitch. Do, 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 do. Right, so there it is. Finally done. Last hurdle I cut myself, but that is a nice chopper. Even if I do say so myself. Let the oil soak in properly in there. I know that's, I'm, I'm well happy with that. What I was thinking of doing is because um, this this come with this is sanding this down and making it good again. So it's just a block of wood. That's there's a crack in there that needs um, doing. But then what I can do then is I can stick them both back together again. And I will actually go in there. I could have that as some sort of hanger. No, because this blade got, went with this. So, well, you knew if you've been here from the beginning. Anyway, that is it. What was there more to say? Other than I know this was a long ass video. I appreciate if you stayed to the end, or even if you just skipped to the end because you were curious. Uh, yeah, it's hard for me to make these videos and make them short so trying to find a little style but that's it the jamie oliver hatchet my lighting's crap i know i gotta get better lights and stuff for you so what shall i chop first <laughs>